Welcome back to me being cheap. I want to talk to you a little bit about the math of paying off a mortgage early. This is the real reason why I am doing all these frugality videos. I actually do have a goal in mind. I would like to get my mortgage paid off and I would like to start saving some money to invest in real estate. So those of you that know me know that I am a big time Dave Ramsey fan. I followed his plan Originally, I paid off my uh, all of my debt except for my mortgage. I have fully funded um, a six-month emergency fund. I am contributing to my kids' uh, 529 uh, accounts for college, and I'm investing 15% into retirement. Now, I have been paying a little extra on my mortgage, but I could do more. That is what I'm trying to do, so I want to walk you through it. Uh, those of you that might be interested in getting out of debt, put the pen to the paper, break out your calculator, break out your mortgage statement, do the math for yourself. When I worked through it, it was totally eye-opening. So first of all, let me tell you a little bit about um, a little bit about my loan. Um, I've actually been in this house over 20 years. However, um, years back I got a divorce. I had to refinance to get the house in my name, and at that time. I built an addition onto the house and did a little bit of remodeling. So in 2010, I took out a 30 year note and that was at four and three quarters interest. Now that is not terrible, but that is not wonderful. Um, however, given the lower nature of the balance of the loan, there's many banks that don't really want to fool with a refinance. And from time to time, I'm you know, wondering, you know, would that be beneficial to take the extra step to refinance? Um, anyhow, so back in 2010, I was 35 years old when I took out this mortgage on the house, meaning that I would have been 65 years old when I paid off this loan. That's a long time. That's a long time to have a mortgage. So, um, let me walk you through what I've been doing. So when you have a, a, a loan through the bank or a mortgage, uh, you pay principal, which is actually the balance. You pay the interest, which in my case is four and three quarters. Um, and then you had to pay into escrow. And escrow for me is the uh, taxes on the property and the house. So we're not gonna worry about the escrow payment. That's something that you'll have um, even if you don't have a mortgage, you still have to pay for the taxes on your place. You have to pay the insurance. I am sweating. It is hot in here. I have not been running the air conditioner as part of my budgeting. I have turned off my box fan that I have over here so you could actually hear me talk. So I am sweating. Um, okay, so I've been paying on this loan since 2010. When I got all my other loans paid off, um, I started paying about $300 extra a month. Uh, that I've been paying on the principal. Now, I have some money um, in my account and I'm getting ready to put a lump sum down. This is just extra money that has built up, um, mostly from me being cheap, uh, but I'm going to pay that down. So these numbers that I'm going to throw at you are the new balance on the loan. And so let me show you what this is going to look like. I've got it written out on a whiteboard. So at the top, I'm showing the figures. If I pay an extra $300 a month, which is what I'm doing now, um, I will have the balance paid off in seven years. And remember, that's after I pay down that lump sum that I've got sitting in my account. But the cool thing is over here, um, if I pay this off in seven years, I'm going to save $9,016.20 in interest alone. That's pretty cool. When you start looking at how much you're paying in interest, even though it's four and a quarter, that's some real eye-opening figures. So I've worked it out. If I do 400 a month, 500 a month, 600 a month, 700 a month, 800 a month, 900 and 1,000. My goal is to pay 1,000 extra a month on the principal of my loan. If I am able to do that, I will have my mortgage paid off in three years and five months. That's pretty cool and that's nowhere near 65 years old. I will save $14,099.08. So that's pretty cool. So this is my goal. 
I'm already doing 300. If I make it anywhere in between, I will go anywhere from seven years to three years and five months. So whatever I hit as far as actual payment, maybe somewhere in here. My goal is a thousand, which would have me paying the loan off in three years and five months. Now, up here at the very bottom, I worked it out for some higher numbers for $1,100 and $1,200. If for some reason, um, you know, I get really frugal and I'm able to pay this off, you know, I could potentially save $14,694.80. That's a lot of money. So let me walk you through what this looks like. I want to pay a thousand extra a month. I'm already paying 300 a month. So that leaves an extra 700 that I need to come up with. So how can you come up with money? You can save money by cutting expenses, by becoming frugal, by becoming a super home economist. Um, you can get another job. Um, I don't know that I will have time to do that. I, you know, if I could find something, I could pick up an extra hour or so a day, that might be fine. Um, but at this time, that's not what I'm looking at doing. Um, you can sell stuff, and I have been selling things here and there on Facebook and, and Craigslist, those sorts of things. Um, or, you know, somebody could give you the money, um, or you can win the lottery. But I don't know any rich people, and I don't play the lottery, so I don't see that option happening. So, let's just say that I'm going to sell a few things and I'm really going to tighten up the bu budget and become very frugal. Those are my avenues of raising the money. Um, so what this looks like is $175 a week is what I need to come up with. That's $25 a day or for 24 hours in the day that works out to about $1.04 an hour. So. If you look at it that way, it's fairly doable, um, maybe, but we'll see. And I'll be posting videos, uh, letting you know about my progress, things that I'm doing, and um, how that's working out, and progress. I'm thinking I need to get one of those old um, poster boards that people used to make for fundraising, where it had a picture of like the thermometer and you color it in. Maybe I need to get something like that to uh, track the progress. Well, thanks for watching and good luck to you frugal people and debt payer offers out there.